this video, we're going to take a look at setting up a network share for your Mastercam library files. There are several advantages to setting up a network share. Everybody in the shop will be using the same posts, tool libraries, toolpath default settings, and other files, so they'll be common. So if, if one user adds a tool, for instance, the tool will be available for all the other users. Or if there's any post edits made, you just install it one time, and everybody instantly is all running off of the same copy. So before doing this, you want to make sure that your Mastercam is kind of all set up and working how you want locally. Once you're confident everything's the way you want, you need to have, make sure your Mastercam is closed. And you need to have a, a network path selected to share uh, the files from. It's ideally all the Mastercam users would have read-write access to this network location. That way they can easily add tools or make changes as needed. So I've decided upon this network path to create my share. You also need to find where your Mastercam files are currently located. And from install, if you watch our installation video, we suggest not changing this path during install. It's C, Users, Public, Public Documents, and then whatever version you're running. So right here is where I'm currently running from. That's my shared Mastercam 2024. For setting up a network share, you do not want to move just individual folders or files. You'll have problems when it comes to migrating to the next version and other various problems. You want to take this whole shared Mastercam 2024 and copy it to your desired network location. Once your entire shared Mastercam 2024 folder is copied to the network location, you, you do need to make sure you copy the entire folder some of these files are missing with errors. You can now aim your Mastercam at this network location. Mastercam needs to be closed, and you can download our Prototech folder utility. This a link for this download is in our sharing files in the network guide, which is available if you ask us or on our website. So I run this folder utility. This works for multiple versions of Mastercam. So I select the version I want to set up, Mastercam 2024. And this can does have a function to reset it back to the default installation location, but I want to select it, a custom path and aim it at the network. I need to browse to that network location. And I want it, the last thing I click on needs to be that shared Mastercam 2024. So now I'm, I'm going to customize this path. This technically edits a registry key for each key current user. So this would need to be done per login with multiple login share of PC. I hit OK. The path is updated. Now I can launch my Mastercam again. Some things to note. If you went into your machine and whatever machine types you're using, if you have managed your list, notice that that does not automatically update. These are still aimed at local paths. So I need to manage my list again move all the current ones and then now it's already defaulted over here to a network path re-add now these are updated to my network path another thing i'd like to note is that you are now sharing things like your toolpath defaults so for instance if you go to drill and you hit this share button to save to defaults now that will edit everybody's tool paths that are on the network share. So you're no longer just setting them for yourself. So you know, for instance, if you want clearance on and set to absolute, and now if I hit that save button, that'll edit everyone's. So if you still want individual tool path defaults, you're gonna wanna go into your machine group properties files. And then there's some libraries here that are shrunk. I can expand that out. And that's where this file lives. Now this is a post setting, so you can't just set that up for yourself. Everybody's sharing posts now, so everybody who uses that post uses the same defaults, but what you can do is part of your job setup. Now, if you want different defaults, you come into here into operation defaults when you're doing your stock setup and other things, and you can open up a different defaults file. So for instance, right here, I could take and just copy this one and paste, and then maybe edit it to my name and then part of my job setup, every time I come in and I pick my Eric defaults, and now if I want to make changes, I can safely make changes and it's writing to that Eric defaults.
that way I can maintain my own toolpath settings if needed. Once again, that's in the files, libraries. This process will need to be repeated on every Mastercam workstation that you want to be using this network share.